Let's go. This game's economy is pretty much fully functioning. It it kind of works on the basis that you know everything has um, certain buildings have a need for something, and other buildings have an excess of something. Now, some buildings I think just basically spawn materials, like um, like I'm pretty sure. There's probably some mines around here. I think we are in a mining area. But basically, mines will like produce ore. I think they just constantly produce it. I think they basically have infinite ore. They just produce it at intervals. But then there'll be like ore processing uh, companies that produce metal and need ore. But if they don't get any ore, they can't actually produce metal. It's not like they just magically restock. They actually do need to get the raw materials in. And because you can start your own business, you can do really complicated things, like, you can set up your own... That, oh, yeah. Pressing A activates autopilot, which I thought I'd bound to uh, move left. But I guess since I patched it, it um, uh, applied an autopilot command over the top. I need to fix that, but, you know, you don't need to strafe too much in this game, so I'll just leave it for now. I'll fix it between episodes. Okay. Access computer, wanted list. And we'll take down the most dangerous criminal on there once again. Flatulent you! Hmm. Let's go. And how close is he? I think he's actually heading towards me, maybe. Might be coming down that tunnel. First, I think I need to recharge my moth, though. And where's the nearest? Oh, there it is. Let's go sit in this lamp for a bit. No, he's actually heading away from me, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. They don't really move at full speed. So I think what I'll do is um, mostly just make money by uh, bounty hunting for now. Once I've saved up about 30k, I'm going to upgrade my moth. And then after that, I'll be saving up for a hangar. There's not a whole lot of upgrades to buy in this game. Um, you reach maximum power level pretty quickly. You just need... Um, like, the, the moths in the game aren't really... There's not too much difference between them. As long as you're not in the starting moth, uh, you're pretty much good to go. So, there's three that are about the same price. There's the tiger and the hawk, as I said. There's also the death's head, which is... Slower than both, slower than both of them, but it has a ridiculous amount of armor and it can uh, hold lots of missiles on it. But because I don't like to use a lot of missiles, I don't really like to use that moth too much. So let's get after flatulent you. Uh, I'm pretty sure that name isn't randomly generated. I think some of the names are just inserted for lols, basically. Let's kill him. Da, 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 da. As I was saying before, you uh, the way the economy works, you can actually do some pretty interesting stuff. Like, you can create your own shop, which, uh, like, say you're producing metal yourself, um, which means you need ore. You could find your competitor, your biggest competitor, and kill everyone that tries to deliver ore to him. He then doesn't produce metal. So the price of your metal goes up because it's rarer. And that works. You can actually commit industrial sabotage in this game. And foul playing and anti-competitive business practices. But because you still have to do it by... Is that my... No, he's not. So I've lost my the target I was going after, so I have to... Oh, damn it. Hold on. Let's stop before I crack kill myself. Pilots. Uh, Bill Bottle, Crash Override, Harry, yeah, Flatulent You, there we go, Target. And I've, oh, the game's gone into autopilot again because I pressed A. So it might not be too bad. Alright, we will open with Swarm Missiles and switch to Plasma, and then probably fire another volley of swarm once his shields are down because they'll have reloaded by then. Then we'll finish with the laser. 
Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. I can see him now. Oh, and he's in a tunnel, which is great, because the, the... Although the AI is quite good in this game in terms of decision making, it's pretty poor in terms of actual flight control. So I think I should be in range now to use my missiles. Oh, and he's dropping flares. And I accidentally hit a random guy, which could turn into a disaster because, you know, he might just go and try and kill me later. Slow down a bit. You don't want to get too overtaken. Die already. Yep, he's dead. <clears throat> Let's just turn around and pick this stuff up. Message received. Uh, he probably didn't drop actually, anything, actually. Nope. Yeah, as I said, they're not very good at flying. He was just like, <laughs> Derp, I'm just going to crash into you. Okay. So, let us look at our messages first. Reward paid. Yep, 2,000. <clears throat> Basically, you have to keep doing odd jobs until the next uh, story prompt from uh, Hard Warp FM. So I guess we will go to the police station. Yet again. The nearest one is actually back the way we've come. I think. Yep. I don't know where we are at the moment. Oh, the reservoir. So it's not very... Um, I guess this area isn't very urbanised. I guess it's more of an industrial area. It doesn't have a police station. Like I was saying, the AI is very good for its time in terms of what it wants to do. It will, you know, it can, the, the, the ones that want to trade will trade, will, you know, look for the best price um, of certain goods and then sell them uh, for a profit. They actually do make real money, or well, they try to. Uh, and similarly, like pi uh, criminals will go after people carrying valuable cargo. If you're, if people have no reason to attack you, they won't attack you. You know, you can see what people are carrying in their cargo hold. So, if you're not carrying anything on you, it's very unlikely that someone will try and mug you. I mean, why risk it? it doesn't make any sense. You can't steal cash in this game. You can only steal cargo. So, let's get the wanted list out, and we will go after Crash. Oh, yeah, I knew he was a criminal. Saw him earlier flying past. Okay, let's go. Actually, I should have saved, but I don't think it matters. I can't. I don't. I think you can save at any point, but I don't think you can load from any point. So if you save, it basically puts a checkpoint at the last place you visited. Like if I saved now and then I died like two seconds later, I would re I would load back into that hangar. I don't think I'd load uh, in the middle of nowhere. So I'm just going to recharge my moth real quick. Oh, he's miles away. Might have to put it in autopilot. If I want to be really boring. Oh look, a monorail. You can actually shoot these. I believe they actually return fire as well. Okay, that's enough. Autopilot. Yeah, it doesn't fly fast enough for me, the autopilot. It doesn't go at quite max speed, so I'll just do it manually. So I'm running this game on Windows 7 with no real sort of virtual machine or compatibility errors. Um, that could partially be due to the unofficial patch I've applied, but it, but I did try running this game before I patched it and it actually did work fine. Uh, I can only put that down to pretty good um, programming on, to, on behalf of the um, original developers. Like I guess they must have just not used a lot of Windows specific features 
and kept it as relatively um, Windows independent as they could. Because, you know, Windows will change something and it will break pretty much everything. And nothing will work on it anymore. Which is, uh, and it's pretty rare to find a game that can survive, um, you know, Windows updates without uh, any changes to it. Although apparently it doesn't work on XP or Vista very well. But it does work on Windows 7 fine. They are... There are a few community projects to try and remake this game, though, as, as an open source. But um, from what I've seen of them, they're not very far along, and they've been that way for a couple of years. Uh, there's two that I know of. One started um, quite far back, and I was looking at their forums, and it seemed like pretty much all activity died out at the start of last year, so January 2011. And it didn't look like they got too far anyway. So, it looks unlikely. And there's a second one that I think has recently just got started, but it's only one guy working on it, and I think he's relatively inexperienced. So, yeah, I'm not sure too much will come about it either. I mean, no, no offense to the people involved, I'm sure they're working pretty hard, but I, it's, it's pretty difficult to make an entire game on your own, especially one of this scale. You'd need you know, at least a couple of people. And they'd have to be quite fairly experienced games developers to do it in a reasonable time frame. It's not the sort of thing you can just pick up programming and make this, you know, over the space of a year on your own. You need at least a couple of people working for maybe a couple of years. Or maybe like 20 people working for one year. Something like that. So let's just go ahead and kill this dude while we're here. Actually, I'll wait until he's flying past me a little. I want to attack him from behind because I don't believe he has a turret, which is good. Actually, he might. Yeah, he has got a turret. You can see it right on top. He's got that little dome thing. This is fire. Switch to plasma. Ah, oh, crap. A bit too close here. Yeah, he should be dead any second. There we go. He's dead. What did he drop? Some scrap. Oh, salvage drone. It's Message too far away received. though. So I just need to get lower. Let's release the drone. Got to be careful. We could be ambushed while we're doing this, but it doesn't seem like there's many other people around. So I think we can get away with it. I will try and I will sell this stuff though before I move on because I I have actually been killed over you know fairly small amounts of goods like this. I mean it's only it's, I know it's only a couple of salvage drones and a some scrap metal. Actually, salvage drones sell for quite a bit because they you buy them for like 4k. I don't think it's the sort of game where like you buy weapons for like five grand, but they only sell back for like a hundred, which is a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, anyway, let's go on the nav screen, local services, and yeah, and we're right next to a trading post. Stop. Okay, that went fine. I'll use the autopilot to land because I'm pretty terrible at it. Why are you backing up so much? Oh god. I can't rely on this machine to do anything. Yeah, I crash it, but at least I don't take half an hour to get into the flipping thing. <clears throat> okay. Let's look at message. Well done. Here's your money. Probably, his cargo's probably worth more than the money, to be honest. That's why you want to be a bounty hunter, it just gives you a license to kill people and sell their stuff. So anyway, let's heal some cargo. 200 each for the scrap metal, which is fine. Oh look, 4k for these salvage drones. That's quite a bit. I'm, uh, the higher tier moths cost between 30 and 35k, so I'm pretty close to meeting my goal. I'm just going to save real quick, because you need to save. <laughs> 